A few days ago, I had a notification on my phone that said I had a DHL package that was on its way to my doorstep in a few days. I kind of knew something was on its way, but I was told that it was a surprise. Anyway, this is what arrived, the DT-D3 shotgun mic. Full disclaimer, the mic was given to me by JT, however, I'm not sponsored by them and they didn't tell me what to say in this video. So thanks so much JT for this mic. Okay, so let's go straight in. Let's talk about the specs of this mic. The D3 mic is essentially an on-camera super cardioid broadcast quality sound mic and it has a frequency range of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This mic comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack to connect the mic to the camera and it is said to be compatible straight out of the box with a DSLR, a camcorder, smartphone, laptops, recorders, body pack, transmitters and tablets too. To see the full list of compatible devices, do check out Deity's official website website. Anyway, the mic itself is powered by a single AAA battery and it features a one button off and on switch. Being a super cardioid mic, it is built to reject most of the background noise and just focuses and condenses the sound of whatever it is in front of it. So in other words, it is a directional mic. In terms of build quality, this mic is definitely very well built. The mic itself is housed in an aluminium casing and feels definitely solid. I'm also happy to report that it doesn't feel cheaply made and it actually feels quite premium and that is really good to know for its price. In terms of usability, using the mic is pretty straightforward and easy. Mounting the mic just requires us to screw on the mic to any hot shoe or cold shoe and the fact that you can further adjust the distance of the mic from the EVF is simply great because there are some mics out there that don't allow this and it makes using the mic with some EVFs out there quite cumbersome. Anyway, when you first turn on the mic, it goes into standby mode and it will automatically switch off or on when you turn off and on the camera. I find that feature alone so useful because I know some mics that get drained out even before you use it because it is left accidentally on. In terms of battery life, it apparently can be used on one single fresh battery up to a maximum of 200 hours. Hours. Of course, I haven't tried using it for that long yet, but I'm sure Deity is telling us the truth here. All in all, I do love the single button operation to this mic as there is no real fussing around with it. However, it would have been great that this mic had a built-in gain dial on it like the D3 Pro, but I guess that's just a small gripe. Okay, that's enough talking for now. Let's do a quick sound comparison. To get a better idea on the sound differences this mic can produce, I have decided to put it up against my other D80 mic which is the D4 Duo mic. Let's go straight in. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Well, I guess from testing that sound just now, it's clearly evident that we can see a clear winner here. But to be really frank with you, it is not a great comparison simply because I do have a monitor in front of me and I am recording in front of a monitor. So that might be causing the reverb in the D4 Duo. But that being said, this does definitely clearly demonstrate that the D3 has an advantage of being a proper condenser mic and it is very directional. So whatever you record in front of it, it will definitely be concentrating the sound. It also means that the D3 has got better sound rejection towards the side of the mic itself and that is really good to know because I recorded it in the exact same place and clearly you can see that the D4 Duo was picking up everything around the mic itself in a wider sort of spectrum and the D3 was more focused. So yeah. Oh, by the way, I just thought of letting you guys know that the whole voiceover in this video was recorded on the D3. So if you do like the sound that's coming up from this mic, then I guess it pretty much is self-evident that this mic is pretty good. So what are my conclusions? Who do I think should really get this mic? Well, to me, I think this mic is really built for anyone who is really out there to get great quality sound, but really is kind of tight on budget. I mean, you're not really going to compromise that 
that much in terms of sound quality with this mic. So I really think it's a no brainer sort of mic. You probably can even use it really well for vlogging and stuff like that because of the sound rejection that it has. It doesn't have fantastic out of this world kind of sound rejection, but it definitely does the job really well. Anyway, that's pretty much it for my review today. I hope you did like it. And if you did like this review, don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to buy me a coffee, I also have left the link to buy me a coffee in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.